So did you know that your ability to stand up from a seated cross-legged position from the floor without using your arms is a great marker for long life? A study published in the European Journal of Preventative Cardiology suggests that those least able to do this movement were five or six times more likely to die than those that were most able. But who's even sitting on the floor anymore these days? I'm Dr. Candy, a GP and a mum of two, and I bring you little actions that make a big difference to your overall health and wellness. So I've got a bone to pick with chairs. Everywhere you go, there's a chair, a staple of course in every home, work environment, you know, uh, shopping malls, the works. We always subtly encourage to sit on chairs, such a simple, overlooked, yet wildly problematic object. In one of my last videos, I talked about the importance of standing. Well, now I'm talking about the importance of sitting on the floor. The chair itself rose to mass production and became mainstream in about the 18th century, so a pretty recent invention. But isn't it ironic that in that time, the number of musculoskeletal disorders has sharply increased? Back pain, muscular injuries, poor posture, osteoarthritis, the works, they're all on the up. And we're just not moving as pain-free humans anymore. Could it be linked to the fact that we're really limiting our potential with this stiff, restrictive thing? So we start off life on the ground, and I always think it's really go good to go back to the primitive times. Crawling, rolling, overcoming gravity, falling, getting back up, falling, getting back up a hundred times over. The baby toddler life, right? And then we do all that hard work to graduate to sitting on a chair. Great. Well, you know how much I love the Okinawas, who have one of the highest population of centenarians in the world, people who live over 100. I spoke about them in my portion control video. But here I mention them because they also spend a lot of time sitting on the floor, keeping furniture to a minimum. Imagine being over 100 years old, getting up and down from the floor more than 40 times a day. What a thing of beauty. Imagine what their core muscles are like, the balance, flexibility, mobility, strength, fitness, oh, dreamy. All of this as well prevents falls, which as we know is one of the top causes of death in the elderly. So let me just spell it out some more for you. Sitting down in chairs does horrible things to our body. Imagine this is the extent to how we move every day because we're always just sitting. Sad, right? Because our bodies are amazing and fluid things that just aren't seeing their full potential. Our butt muscles apparently have never been so inactivated. Maybe that's why so many people are seemingly getting butt lifts, but they really need to just pay me and I'll just push out the chair. That's it. <laughs> and your hips are another part that never see their full range of motion. Sitting in a chair keeps your hip flexors tight and concentrated. Those of you that go to the gym to do 100 squats, well done. But if you're spending the rest of the week sitting in a chair, then you're just wasting potential. Well, a big problem I have with sitting is that like with anything, we get used to it. So we don't adopt the appropriate position or posture. We become so absorbed and passive. Cue the term couch potato. You know, people are just slumped over in chairs, spines mis misaligned, uneven distribution, completely unsupported. And can you imagine if we saw other animals doing what we're doing? I mean, just imagine seeing a cat just sit down on a chair all day long. Okay, so the facts are that if we don't use it, we're going to lose it, right? So let's challenge ourselves by sitting or squatting on the floor more. My husband and I have recently been watching the BBC drama Time, but more importantly, from the floor. I was also in A&E the other day and I was telling my colleagues about the idea I had for my next video and I got them all to just spend a bit of time squatting. And yes, we look kind of crazy, but immediately everyone noticed a difference. Like, wow, I feel like that joint hasn't been, you know, utilized its full range of motion in a while. And this muscle feels stretched and everyone just felt a little bit better. Well, the truth is the muscles needed to sit comfortably on the floor really do take time to develop. And you have to be really present when doing so, because it's a lot harder than it looks to unlearn this simple thing that you've been doing for decades. Don't expect to sit and it'll be comfortable from the get-go. Most people will be running back to their chairs. So just start out with about five minutes and build it up slowly. Move around on the floor and find out what works for you. Your body will adjust and adapt. Just remember your posture. It's especially good to do it after exercise too as your body resets and finds its balance. So there you have it. Don't spend the rest of your life confined to a chair. Taking it back to archetypal postures is the way forward. Thank you for listening. Please share, comment and follow at Life of Dr Candy for more little actions that make a big difference to your overall health and wellness.